guys, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Do you have days where they're just the lips, they just keep getting darker and darker and bigger and bigger? I feel like we're a bit of a mess right now, but we're gonna continue on anyway, so apologies, my lips are all over the place. I'm not an avid lipstick wearer. I don't know what I'm doing. As you may have seen, this is actually gonna be the last video in this series. I won't go too deep or too sad about it but basically uh, I made the decision because in the last year or so many of you probably know that JK Rowling the author of Harry Potter has said some horrible things about the LGBT community that are just not okay and I understand that the topic of Harry Potter is starting to become a bit, in bit sensitive to people rightly so and it uh, makes them remember of the things that JK Rowling has said and can make them feel like upset and I do not want to cause or make that worse I'm a huge fan and um, supporter of the LGBT community. I love Pride events. I know you all know that how much I love drag race. So therefore, um, I just made sign that we're going to wrap up what I got and I'm going to show you this last video. I will still continue to buy Harry Potter polishes if they're pretty and I will show them on Instagram, but we're just not going to have these in-depth chats like we did. Um, just, just, I'm just trying to be respectful um, that I don't want to make anybody upset about these. I'm really trying to keep myself separate from it and kind of think that like, and like I said in my previous video, that although J.K. Rowling wrote it, it is very much way bigger than J.K. Rowling at this point, and it means so much to so many people, and there's so many independent companies, which is what I'm showing you now, who, uh, these indie polishes don't profit J.K. Rowling in any way, and um, they're just inspired by, I guess, her words from like 20 odd years ago now, um, so I want you to give the shout out to the indie brands, rightly so, for making such beautiful polishes, um, so we have 11, Polishes to go through today, um, and we'll talk about Potter and the polish. Um, let's enjoy this final hurrah with Harry Potter polishes. So we'll start off with Rogue Lacquer. Now Rogue did a Fantastic Beasts series on Hella Handmade Creations. These are the final four that have not featured in this uh, video series so we're going to go through them real quick so the first one is diamonds are a niffler's best friend nifflers are one of my favorite things let me grab a niffler look you are nifflers i have this soft one and i also have if you can see oh it's up the top there a pop vinyl also side note side note side note this video is going to be really long so i i just know some of the other harry potter things i've got the beautiful lou sent me this leaky cauldron cup for my birthday and then also a, a hermione figurine here so thank you so much to Lou. Since the last time we um, did a video, I've got these beautiful, these are, these are all handmade from independent people. So it's a guineaweed and wolf spain, kind of like mock-ups, and they're meant to look like the ingredients. How absolutely stunning. I love those types of things. Anyway, so the Niffler loves anything shiny, kind of like a magpie, but a mammal version. So uh, Rogue came out with a very much silver diamond inspired because that's what Nifflers love. So although this doesn't look like a Niffler, it definitely looks like something that a Niffler would enjoy because diamonds are a Niffler's best friend, that's for sure. And then have Kelpie, which is shown in, I think, the second film, which is the Water Horse. I think Kelpie's quite big in mythology, let alone Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts. And again, this is kind of like a, the green kelpie sea underwater lake type green. Um, I do really like it. I feel like in the film, it's not that green, but we'll just base it off of the kelp, I guess, which is what in its name kelpie. Um, and it definitely does match that. Um, I really like the kelpie in the films. It's one of my favourite beasts, actually. So that one was kelpie. We then have Fwoopa, which is um, a little purple bird. In if you're not, a, uh, I will put pictures up of some of these beasts if they're not um, super obvious. So Fwoopa is the little purple bird. So we are obviously then greeted by a lovely purple polish. So again, another good match. And the last one is a rumpen, and a rumpen is kind of like an elephant, as you may have heard, like from a rumpet, kind of like trumpet elephant kind of along those lines this is a beautiful multi-chrome if you see the picture when i put it up of the beast it kind of looks like a browny gray green so it does very much match the color but it's just a prettier version because we want pretty nail polish as well as things that look like the creatures so that last one was irrumpent a new brand to me is by Danny Vienna and she has come out with quite a few Harry Potter polishes uh, the first one that I've worn I do have others that you will see on my channel uh, separately but this one is um, called cleverness and this is the Ravenclaw polish I picked this up because I love the color combination if you haven't watched any of these videos I'm a Slytherin, so not my house colours, but more I bought this because I love the fact that it was blue and bronze, which is one of my favourite colour combinations and the colours of Ravenclaw. So again, a big thumbs up for that one. 
This one I'm throwing in here, but it, I don't really know what to compare it to. So it's called Good Show Mr. Kowalski, and that's obviously one of the characters in Fantastic Beasts. It's from Glam Polish. I think they've done two Fantastic Beasts series, one for each film. So I wanted to show this one, although it could kind of be any colour, um, just based off of being one of the more the people in the film and not one of the cat like one of the animals as such. Um, a beautiful polish, it's a silvery base with bronze flakies, uh, stunning and magical so I guess that kind of works. So that was good show Mr Kowalski glam polish. I have a couple which are from last year, that sounds weird saying that, the 2020 cast of Spellbox. I haven't worn all of them yet so this is just the two that I do have. The first one is Stupefy by uh, Night Owl Lacquer. Uh, breathtakingly gorgeous is going to be my first statement. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a blue with a blue flash to it. The spells, I guess, can kind of be, like we've said a few times, any colour. Um, if they're making a certain light cast out of the wand, they probably should be that one. I've never seen Stupefy done as a blue polish before, which doesn't mean that's not right. I'm just saying that this is the first Stupefy one that I have is blue. I think the other ones that you have more are on the red, and I think kind of people go with the being red quite a lot because normally they're not a very nice thing, like evil, like red, like angry, it's kind of kind of the colour rotation that we go through. Um, but I do think this polish is stunning, it is magical, but like I say, just the other stupefy ones that I have are more red than blue, but what can you do? The other one from that box is from Never Enough, and this one is called Vera Verto. And in the films, I think the only time we see Vera Verto is in Transfiguration, when they're turning animals into cups or goblets. And if you remember, some of some people are changing them in, they like end up with tails and things, so they can't do the quite quite do the Vera Verto spell correctly. So I guess this kind of does look like a goblet or it does kind of look magical again it is a black base with then lots of um, gold holographic and gold speckles and you don't normally see black and gold but it's a stunning combination so I think that that really works really nicely and again the spells can kind of be any colour. I'm not sure if Vera Verto is literally a spell to always turn animals into cups because that seems like a weird spell to need all the time but that's how it's shown in the film series anyway. So that was Vera Verto by Never Enough. I have one from a no longer existing UK indie called Quirk Polish and this one is called Three Turns Should Do It which is obviously um, going back to the time turner in the third book and film. Um, this is a clear base and then we have shard glitters and then hex glitters which are purple and uh, silver. Um, I don't know how this really shows the time turner really I don't know would you then go for like a gold or something that was like round glitter that's possibly where our, my mind would go um I'm not saying it's not I'm just saying that's what I would imagine um and this just being this purpley holographic topper I don't really see it but that's not me saying that it can't be done <laughs> so that one there was three turns should do it uh that's quirk polish from painted polish and this one is called hot for herbology which is one of the best names Ever. Um, and this is just a nice green um, colour. Herbology is the study of plants, so this does look very plant-like. We have the green, the holographic, and then the warm tone duochrome flakies. So it does look kind of like a bush or grass or greenery or something you would study in herbology. So it's a good match for that, that reason. Um, I've, I wore this a really long time ago. Some of these I've worn and I just had them waiting to do one of these videos for a while now. Uh, stunning polish. And the last one in this video is going to be Fountain of Fair Fortune by Stella Chroma. Um, this is, again, beautiful. It is a light blue base with a ton of enormous large um, opalescent flakies in there and a red pink flash. Now, Fountain of Fair Fortune is a little bit more of a unique um, spin on Harry Potter, I guess. This is based off of one of the books in The Beadle and the Bard, which obviously is mentioned as kind of like children's uh, fairy tales, but for wizards. Um, and this is one of the stories in there. I'm kind of taking it that, yes, it looks like a watery fountain and that's where we're going. I don't no, I'm not familiar with this tale. I think you can get the book of the Beetle and the Bard, which has got the tale of the three brothers, this one, and I think maybe there's a third one in it, or fourth. Um, I just think it looks like water, which is what I'm going with, with the Fountain of Fair Fortune, and I really enjoyed the fact that it was more of a unique, different... That, these are the type of Harry Potter polishes that I really enjoy. As much as the house colours are stunning, and I love that as well, I really enjoy like the ones that are like Vera Verto, or like more... No, obscure maybe is the word that I'm going for there. Um, but yeah, that is everything that I've worn recently. I have a few more, which I was going to... 
like rush through and film I didn't really know how to do it but um for now this is the series wrapped up thank you so much for all your likes and comments and of course like I say all the future potter polishes will still be posted on my instagram so we can chat to potter there if you would like to um thank you for your support thumbs me up subscribe let me know what some of your favorite potter polishes are some of your favorite potter moments are in the comments and i will see you soon bye